Okay, now that we know the characteristics of a quadratic function, let's go ahead and compare some graphs. We're going to do the, the function today, y equals ax squared. And for the first example, we're going to plot y equals 2x squared and compare it to our basic quadratic graph of y equals x squared. The first thing we're going to do is create h charts for both of those functions. For our domain, we're going to use x is the member of the set negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. So if x is negative 2 and I square it, I am squaring the whole integer. And so negative 2 squared is 4, so my ordered pair is negative 2, 4. Negative 1 quantity squared is 1, so my ordered pair is negative 1, 1. 0 squared is 0, so the ordered pair is 0, 0. 1 squared is 1, so the ordered pair is 1, 1. And 2 squared is 4, and so that ordered pair is 2, 4. We can go ahead and draw the coordinate plane. We are going to plot both of our graphs on the same coordinate plane so we can compare them. Okay, so let's do the h chart for y is equal to 2x squared. If x is negative 2, I have 2 times the quantity of negative 2 squared, 2 times 4, which is 8, ordered pair negative 2, 8. Negative 1, 2 times negative 1 quantity squared, 2 times 1, or 2, ordered pair, negative 1, 2, 0. 2 times 0 squared is 2 times 0, which is 0. Ordered pair, 0, 0. 2 times 1 squared is 2 times 1, which is 2. Ordered pair, 1, 2. And 2 times 2 squared is 2 times 4, which is 8. Ordered pair, 2, 8. And now we're ready to graph. Let's graph our basic graph of y is equal to x squared. My vertex is 0, 0. When x is negative 2, y is 4, negative 2, 4, negative 1, 1, positive 1, 1, positive 2, 4. And let's create a smooth curve for our basic graph that we're going to compare other parabolas to. So let's label that y is equal to x squared. Now let's go ahead and plot y is equal to 2x squared. Same vertex, 0, 0, negative 1, 2, and negative 2, 8, positive 2, 8, and positive 1, 2. And now we're going to connect those points with a smooth curve. All right, we've got our two graphs. Y is equal to 2x squared. They're both parabolas, but now we are going to compare and contrast. Now remember, we're comparing y is equal to 2x squared to y is equal to x squared. So let's talk about opening up or down. They both do what? They both are concave up. If they are concave up, it means that they have a minimum point or a minimum value. Concave up, minimum point or minimum value, brings us to the vertex. Both of them have the vertex 0, 0, right? So this is both. All right, now let's talk about the axis symmetry. Do they have the same axis of symmetry? Well, let's draw it in and let's see. So we need a line through the vertex. Since they have the same vertex, 
that axis of symmetry is going to be the same. And the equation is going to be the x coordinate of the vertex. So the axis of symmetry for both, x equals 0. I'm going to change that color. And so you can see oh, that's where it came from. Okay, now can you tell me anything else about the parabolas? Do you notice about the width of the parabolas? Is there anything happening with the width of the parabola? So the graph of y equals 2x squared is narrower than y is equal to x squared. And logically, think about this. It's being multiplied by 2. The quadratic term is being multiplied by 2. So it's going to go up that much faster, which is going to make it narrower. Let's talk about the domain and the range. Last topic, domain. Are there restrictions on the x? No. So for both of them, all real numbers. How about the range? Well, they have the same vertex, so they will have the same range. Y is greater than or equal to zero. And that's how we would compare and contrast these parabolas. Example two, let's graph Y is equal to negative one fourth X squared and compare it to y is equal to x squared. Because we are always going to graph y equals x squared as our basic graph to compare to, I'm okay with you doing a t-chart. So if x is negative 2, we square that, y is going to be 4. If x is negative 1, we square that, and y is going to be 1. If x is 0, y is 0. If x is 1, y is 1. And if x is 2, y is 4. So you can go ahead and just make a t-chart for that y equals x squared. Now let's go ahead and make an h-chart for y is equal to negative 1 fourth x squared. If x is negative 2, I have negative 1 fourth times negative 2 quantity squared, which is negative 1 fourth times 4. Go ahead and cross cancel negative 1 ordered pair, negative 2, negative 1. So negative 1 fourth times negative 1 quantity squared is negative 1 fourth times 1, which will be negative 1 fourth ordered pair, negative 1, negative 1 fourth, 0, negative 1 fourth times 0 squared. Any number times 0 is going to be 0. So 0, 0. Then if I substitute 1, negative 1 fourth times 1 squared is 1. So negative 4 times 1 is negative 1 fourth. That ordered pair is 1, negative 1 fourth. And lastly, 2, negative 1 fourth times 2 squared is going to be negative 1 fourth times Four, which is negative 1 and so the last ordered pair is 2 negative 1 and we could go ahead and plot both of these parabolas on the same coordinate plane. All right let's first plot our basic quadratic function 0 0 1 1 negative 1 1 negative 2 4 positive 2 4. I'm going to label my ordered pairs and then let's make a smooth curve label this is y is equal to x squared now let's go ahead and graph our other parabola we're going to start at 0 0 as well now our next ordered pair is negative 1 1 Fourth. So we really didn't move very far down and positive 1, negative 1 fourth. Then for negative 2, we have negative 2, 1, negative 2, negative 1, sorry, and positive 2, negative 1. 
let's go ahead and make a smooth curve. And what do you know immediately about that parabola? Sure looks a lot wider to me. Y is equal to negative 1 fourth X squared. Let's go ahead and compare and contrast. All right, Y equals X squared is concave up and y is equal to negative one-fourth x squared is concave down. Well, think about that. a is negative, concave down. Next, how about the vertex? Same vertex, right? Same vertex. Zero, zero. However, that zero, zero for y equals x squared is going to be a minimum value, but for negative one-fourth x squared, because it is concave down, that's going to be a maximum value, okay? Let's talk about the width. Well, y equals negative one-fourth x squared is wider so the equation of the axis of symmetry, because they both have the same vertex, they are both going to have the same axis of symmetry. The equation is going to be x is equal to zero. Lastly, let's talk about the domain and range. Negative one-fourth x squared. Is there a restriction on the x values? There is not, so it's all real numbers. And let's look at the range. Well, it opens down now. So y is going to be less than or equal to 0. Now for y is equal to x squared, all real numbers for the domain, and y is greater than or equal to 0 for the range. And that is how you compare and contrast our parabolas.